Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about my highlighting system. So I've had a number of requests lately about highlighting. So I wanted to talk a little bit with you about it and kind of where I came up with my system. So uh, just so you know, I was when I my first year of challenge A as a director, I was brand new to the Latin and I hadn't I, I had no idea what was going on. So I didn't know what was coming up in the text. I didn't even know that there were conjugations. So it was all really new to me. So when we first started out in the book, um, I saw that we started with nouns and we were memorizing the genders. So I decided to highlight my nouns based on gender. So I had a light blue, a pink, and a green. And um, anyway, the whole system sort of evolved over time. I, when I got to verbs, again, I didn't know about the different conjugations. I just picked yellow because I thought that was a good color to go next. And um, anyway, it wasn't till later that I figured out that there were different conjugations. And so I wanted to designate each conjugation a different color. So I sort of, um, over time, this whole system here has evolved and been tweaked a little bit. And while I, I, I love highlighting, I don't think it really matters what color you pick. I just think you need to find something that works for you, be consistent with it, and um, use it if it helps. Anyway, so where I came up with the colors, again, here it was based on gender. The conjugations, I based them off of these flashcards that I have from Antiquated Notions. Uh, the first conjugation is pink, second conjugation is blue, third conjugation is red, and fourth conjugation is green. So I sort of, sort of stuck with that because I had the flashcards and that's what I was using. Anyway, I have this little piece of paper I've typed up and I put it in front of my book and all the students in my class, I have, I send it to the moms, they print it and we highlight it and get it all set up and we follow this pattern throughout the year. So this is a dark blue right here that it really doesn't have anything to do with nouns and verbs. I just use it as a heading. So anytime there's a new chapter or a new heading for a new section in the chapter, I'll use that dark blue. And then down here, we have these other parts of speech. So I have this set of um, highlighters. Again, the highlighters don't really matter, but this one gives you 10 colors, I think. Yeah, 10 different colors. And a lot of the highlighting sets stop at eight. And I found it really helpful to have those two extra colors. So anyway, I'm going to walk you through this book just a little bit with some of the things that I've done. So you can see here, if I have a header, I use that dark blue. I did do the rules in red. I mean, I'm sorry, in yellow. And as we get a new, all the verbs at the beginning, they weren't by conjugation. We just learned a few verbs. And so they were just yellow at the beginning. And then depending on the declension of the gender, of the noun, I would highlight them pink, blue, or green. Anyway, you can see here. The other thing that I have here is whenever there was a new grammar rule introduced, I would mark it here in the yellow. And then in the grammar book, frequently I will write the page number, like for example, on grammar rule 35 and 38 in the little blue book, I'll put this page number so I can look at that rule and go, oh, where was that first introduced in the purple textbook? So that is um, kind of handy, especially as you're getting into challenge B and challenge one when things start getting really crazy. But anyway, you can see here, I've got my um, neuter nouns in green, and then you can just sort of see how this process sort of works. Um, I'm, I, I love writing in my book, and so the more I see things, the more it sort of imprints on my mind and I remember them. And I know that my, my kids here at home have really been helped by doing this. Anyway, I'm gonna skip down here to, I think it's chapter nine, uh, lesson nine, where we hit those verbs. See here, I'll mark again based on gender and then I'll also mark them up. Uh, we'll see genitive singular tells us what declension, so then I'll mark declension over there. Let me get to those verbs. Oh, at the tail end of this first unit, there's this master vocabulary list. And gosh, where is it? Here it is. And so I have everything highlighted there as well. So first declension is mostly feminine, and that helps me to see it at a glance, what declension I'm in. 
Uh, second declension is masculine and neuter. And then third declension is kind of all over the place. So I have those marked up. And then the other parts of speech are here as well. So when we get to verbs, um, like I said earlier, I tend to use yellow for important things or, um, or, or basic verb information. So anyway, I just, I mark up all over the place. I like my little flare pens and usually I'll just pick a color that, I don't know, that will stand out on the page based on whatever highlighting I've got going on. So again, remember how I said like the different conjugations were different colors. So because first conjugation is pink, where we introduce first conjugation here, I've got my flare pen going in pink and you can see it down there as well. One other thing that I have done, I have this different chart I'll show you in a minute that helps helps us learn to decode the verb is that in every single verb, the very last little bit of it is going to be this personal pronoun marker. And so I have gotten used to doing those in light blue. And um, I will show you that page over here in just a second. Here is where I began to highlight the verbs again. Because I had started with yellow, I... I don't know, I just stuck with it. And then just, I labeled the number based on the color of that conjugation. So I'm gonna show you how we break these down. In first conjugation, uh, in the verb, you're gonna have a stem, and then this is what I call the conjugation marker. And then right here, this will give me the sign of the tense. And this happens to be imperfect. And then here's your personal pronoun marker out here. And I have this other chart over here that's in my Latin workbook that I have created that system as well. Again, in the present, I'm in the present stem here, the present tense of the present stem. Anyway, personal pronoun markers are in light blue. Conjugation marker is in pink. Down here, when we got to the imperfect, again, pink, light blue. For some reason this light that looks purple but it's not it's light blue and then the imperfect tense marker is the ba and that's in green and then down here in the future again those personal pronoun markers i don't know why they look they look purple here but they're blue and then the future tense is in purple it's a b a bi or a bu and then you can see that same thing over here in the Perfect tense. I think I decided to forego all of that and just do the first conjugation pink. Anyway, um, so as we walk through these, I can just mark everything up based on, you know, what gender it is, if it's a noun, and what conjugation it is, if it is a verb. You can see I kind of made a little mistake here that was supposed to be blue all the way through. But apparently I got crazy with my yellow, and when you go over yellow with blue, you get green. So anyway, um, again, I'll mark this one here. And I have my class um, highlight with me as well, and so they will take a look at the book that I have, and they'll highlight, and they'll highlight along with me. So I usually have them preview and highlight before they come to class. But... There's a page I want to show you guys. Here's where we introduce second conjugation. And then because this is a page that has multiple conjugations on the same page. So pink, blue, and red for first, second, and third. So anyway, I hope you guys find this helpful and have fun learning Latin.